Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glory. Take away, you give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. You give and take away, you give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. This morning's reading is from Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. 
How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked. Away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offence way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sorry. This is the word of the Lord. Good morning. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask this morning that you will speak to each one of us here, wherever we are at home, wherever state we're in, however we're feeling, that you will speak into our hearts and lives. And Lord, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. This year has been probably one of the most awkward years I can think of in years. It's one of those years that has actually literally uh, sapped strength and and, and made us feel completely powerless. And as that happens to me and as I feel dry, I'm, I'm drawn back to Scripture and I'm drawn back to God and how he loves me. And this morning our reading was from Psalm 139. And the opening lines of this psalm say, You have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. I don't know about you, but at times I struggle with the concept that God hears every one of my thoughts. I'd like to tell you that my thoughts are always pure, that my thoughts are always kind, that my thoughts are always generous, and that I never lose my temper, that I never get carried away, I never get passionate about things which I shouldn't do, and I find myself completely and utterly perfect. But unfortunately, that would be a lie, because I'm not like that at all. And to know that God looks down from heaven and hears my thoughts and sees what I see and knows what I think is probably one of the greatest challenges I've ever seen. And when I look at this psalm, I'm humbled. And yet I'm also encouraged because right at the end of this psalm, just at the point where you think um, God can't possibly understand us for having thoughts like that, the psalmist writes this. He goes, if only you, God, would slay the wicked away from me, you are, you who are bloodthirsty. And he goes on to say, do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. Now, I don't know about you, but those words go against my feeling of what God is like. And yet, I recognize that God sees inside. God sees the dark moments. And one thing that this lockdown has done has made me think more. It's driven me into a, probably a wilderness patch in my walk with God. In that fact, I'm not refreshed by, by the services that we have. I am fed, but I'm not refreshed. I'm not encouraged. I'm not set on fire like I normally am because I'm in a different place. And sometimes when I'm in those positions, and let's face it, we don't have to admit when we're in those places, it's great to know that God understands. The passage in verse 7 says, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, and it carries on. In the highs and in the lows, God is there with us. And it's so easy as a Christian to talk about the highs. It's so easy to celebrate the great news. Yes, I am forgiven. Yes, I am renewed. Yes, I've been given gifts I've never had. Yes, I've got so many good things. But sometimes I crash. Sometimes I struggle. And it is amazing to know that in those moments of doubt, in those moments of frustration, that God is there. And what I want to say to you this morning as you're watching this and as you're part of this is to say that God knows you. 
He knows your thoughts. He knows your mind. He knows your passions. He knows your successes. He knows your failures. He knows the things which you want to celebrate from the rooftops. And he also knows those things you want to keep hidden away. And that God looks down at you and says, I love you. I love you. The cross wasn't just for the good days. The cross was for the dry days. But the resurrection was for both, that we may have life and life to the full. So this day, I invite you to recognize that God is with you in the good times as well as the bad, and that God can renew and refresh you even in the dry days. And all we need to do is reach out to him and say, I need your help. I need your strength. I need your love. I need your support. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask this day you will pour your Holy Spirit on us. Lord, we are not perfect, but in you we are made perfect. Lord, we are not free, but in you we are made free. I ask, Lord, this day you'll help us to live as children of light, knowing that we are loved and cared for by you. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you. Is it your breath in our lungs? So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore. i
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for our world. We pray for the countries where people don't get the health care that they need or they have problems with finding enough food to eat. We pray for all the countries where there's, Ill, there's unrest, where there's fighting and there's people that aren't being treated equally. Lord, we thank you that you have provided enough for everyone in this world, but some of us are more greedy than others, so some go without. Lord, we pray that your kingdom will come into our world and that everyone will be treated fairly and equally. Lord, we also want to pray for our country. We want to pray for all the different things that have been going on with the COVID virus. We want to pray that you will just give us that wisdom and that discernment to know how best to treat each other and how best to keep each other safe too. Lord, we pray for the government, we pray for all people in power, all people that have, have authority and need to make big decisions in our world. Lord, we pray that you'll give them your wisdom and your discernment and that you'll help this country to go come back to you in the end. Lord, you know that we seem to have lost our focus on you and we pray that you will help the leaders to realise that they need you to lead and to guide them. But Lord, we especially just pray that you will help us in our own lives to put you at the centre. Lord, we pray for those that we know that aren't well. Some people are in our church, some people that we know outside. But Lord, we just commit them to you now and pray that you will be alongside them. They'll know your presence with them. We pray for all the NHS and people that are looking after people's health, whether that's physical, mental or spiritual. We pray that you'll give them wisdom and discernment too. But Lord, we just give you ourselves and we pray that you'll help us to rely on you in all the, for all that we need. And we just give you all our worries and cares now and praise that you will just give us your peace and help us to address whatever we're facing. We commit all these prayers to you in Jesus' name. Amen. i 
Glory 